This morning, uh, I have an op-ed in the uh, New York Times that expresses my point of view, a personal point of view, that uh, uh, the people of Egypt and events in Egypt have in their own power and in the simplicity of their spontaneity uh, moved beyond President Mubarak and his regime. And I believe it is vital for President Mubarak to help to transform this moment uh, into the new Egypt and the new future for Egypt. I think in order to do that, that it is imperative that he address the nation and announce with grace and leadership uh, his understanding of the expression that his people are making and of their aspirations and to embrace them fully and to make clear that neither he nor his son uh, will be candidates for re-election or for election in the next elections and to go even further to move to put together a caretaker governance over these next months, working with the army, working with the civil society in order to avoid violence and help to transition Egypt to the future that its people want and that it deserves. We have huge interests in this. The world does, obviously, in the stability of the region and the avoidance of violence and conflict and in helping to create a template for transformation for all of the region. So that's what's at stake.